Welcome back guys. And in this video, I'm gonna be getting some Apple headphones with a lightning port and making them work with other headphones. So Apple pretty much along with every other company is moving away from the standard auxiliary jack. Now the problem with that is everyone still has auxiliary jacks headphones or other devices. I'm focusing on headphones, but you might be able to use this for other devices. So, a little story. I was outside, found a pair of headphones like I usually do. Headphones are really easy to find. I just find them all the time. And took it apart. One of the headphones is broken. Must be a wiring issue. I took it apart. One of the wires is kind of frayed a little bit. Someone stepped on it or ran it over or something. But the thing was, the end of it is a lightning port for Apple products. I thought, hey, it'd be pretty cool if I could use my other set of headphones and uh, use a lightning port and maybe get rid of the whole dongle issue that everyone has. Why have a dongle if you can just splice it into the new one? Let's see if this works. So as you guys might be able to see, I have already cut off the end of my headphones. Now these headphones work. These headphones work, I guess. One side doesn't work as well as the other, but it still works. So I'm gonna take this apart like I already did. Pretty easy, cut it. And the cool thing is you can actually see in here there are four holes, and through those four holes are four wires. Now it's very, very simple design. The two headphones up here, your left and your right, one set has two wires, the other set has two wires. Positive, negative, positive, negative. They run to the end, you have four wires, which are, at least in this case, four different colors to tell them apart. Now, a lot of people ask, is like, hey, I have a red, I have a blue, I have a green. It doesn't matter. Wires are wires. Where they're connected to is what's important. If you have a blue wire, it's still a copper wire. It still carries a signal. Doesn't really matter. You just need to figure out where it's coming from and where it's going to know where you need to connect it. But wire colors don't matter. They're just to help people remember this is usually positive, this is usually negative. Like red's usually positive, black's usually negative. But they color code them to make it easier. <sighs> so there's a difficult part when doing this. So you can see, this is a flat cord. Apple's, on the other hand, is round. So you might be able to use some wire cutters to actually get down to the wires in here. I haven't touched it, don't know yet. But these, the ones I'm starting with, are kind of a pain because, well, they're flat and you have to get this rubber off to get to the wires in order to splice them. So, we got a razor and I will eventually get this. Easy does it because you don't want to go too far because if you go too far, then you're gonna cut the wires and you're gonna have to start again. So, I will start with a very small cut these are pretty dull, so I guess that's a good thing. I don't have to worry about going too far. But I bend it in half, and then I slightly touch it with the razor, and it will start cutting into it until I see copper. Once I see copper or any other color, because these are color-coded, once I see that, then I stop pressure in that area, and then I start cutting into the other areas that are still black, which is the rubber that goes around this to protect these wires. And then once I get enough of it back, or I don't hit any more wires, or it's thin enough to where I feel comfortable, I got some wire showing in there, I'm gonna pull, and it should just break apart. There it goes, Haha. -ha just like that, we've got some wires in here. So here are your four wires. 
from the top to the bottom, there are different colors. Like I said, these are just to let you guys know which one's which. The downside is I don't know which ones are which because these are the ones that I'm gonna be using. So I can't splice open my left and my right headphones on this to figure out which one's which. I can do that on my donors, the ones that I'm just taking the lightning cable from. I can figure out which ones those go to, but these I cannot. So either I am gonna have to get some sort of diagram online if I can find one, which I really doubt because I don't even know what brand these are, or just get some wire testers and kind of figure it out from there. But I'm not at that point. So another question you might ask yourself is, wait, copper doesn't come in colors and you don't dye copper. That's because those are little pieces of fabric, which is really helpful when they do this. But in the manufacturing process, it's something that they don't have to worry about because just the way that they set it up, there's good conductivity. The downside is when you're taking this stuff apart, that stuff interferes with the copper that you're trying to twist or solder together. Really quick and easy thing to do once you figure out what these actually go to. Get your lighter and put it over. All of those are going to burst into flames and it's gonna get rid of just the fabric that goes around it, just that colored fabric, and they're all gonna turn copper. This gives you a much better connectivity if you're connecting it to another copper because if you get that other stuff like this green one, a lot of that is in the way, that fiber, so you don't get as good of a connection. So once you're ready, burn it. I'll show you guys when I get to that step. It'll get rid of all of that and it actually looks pretty cool. So now that we have this end stripped, four wires, two for one side, two for the other side, positive and negative, should be pretty simple. We're gonna set that off to the side and now we're gonna see what the Apple headphones have in store for us. Now on this side you can see that there's two different wires coming from the left side. This is the left headphone. One of them's copper with some green, and the other one is green with, it looks like a little bit of white, but by the time we get down to it, it's probably just a solid green. So like I said, this is much easier to do with your donor ones because you can see exactly which one's which. So at least you have one side knowing, hey, this green one is on the left side, so green is, you know, left side. One of them's positive, one of them's negative. You can get some wire testers to figure the rest out from there. And then I'm gonna crack open this one, which I really don't need to since it's gonna be four wires. So I know that. And if you do wanna break these things open, they're super easy. There is a seal that goes around the edge of these headphones. These are the weird funky ones that are supposed to go into your ears. There's like a little edge that goes around there. Just separate it somehow. You can probably get it with your fingers. If not, then pliers or something. Not the point. I digress. The real reason why we're here is to splice these, cut these. I'm gonna give a bunch of length on this one because I might screw up a lot. These are donor ones. Oh no, it broke. Okay, so now here's our new dongle which we're gonna make not a dongle, a dingle dongle. Anywho, the wires that are inside here, what we're gonna do is you can use some wire strippers and strip this out because it is round, it works that way. Um, or if you only have a razor, just don't cut yourself, go around the edge of it. Some people like to burn it, you got that. But the only downside of burning it is you're gonna take away the color. You don't know which one's which. So cutting is definitely recommended here unless you're psychic and you already know what you're doing. So I'm gonna cut away the rubber that goes around here, pull it away just like I did the last one and expose the wires. Be very, very careful. Now the great thing about cutting this stuff is this rubber is super flimsy. Anyone that comes from Apple, knows that the stuff that they use for their headphones, their chargers, that stuff breaks on its own. You don't even need any sort of razors or wire cutters. Just use it, it'll break. And voila, just like that. Same thing, 
And looky there, we have wires. It looks like we have four, but some of this thread that's in here makes it look like it's more. So let's spread these out a little bit and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so we have run into our first problem. Now, as you can see here on the picture, we have five wires and not four. The one in the middle, that white one that has a little burn mark at the end, my bad, I burnt that just to figure out what if there was a wire in there because that middle one is just insulation. And if you can see at the tips of each one of those, it does have that white. That white is insulation for each one of those wires. So what we're gonna have to do, minus that white one, is figure out what that extra one is for. Now, based on taking this one apart, I know that the copper with the green strap stripes, this one right here, along with the solid green, this one right here, we'll pair those together, that is for the left side. So I'm gonna break open the right side and see what the right side is. That extra one I'm guessing might be for a ground or it could possibly be an extra one for data transfer because it's lightning and maybe it's for the mic that's built into this even though the other one does the other one have a mic yes the other one has a mic too but it only has four we'll see so as you can see this is the right headphone that i popped open one of them is solid red and the other one is red with copper so now we know four out of the five, and I'm guessing that last one is probably for the microphone. All right, guys, so I popped open the middle. This is your microphone and also adjust the volume and your skip and whatever for your music. But this is what it looks like on the left-hand side. Just like in the right headphone, you have a red and a red stripe. And over here on the left-hand side, you have your red, red striped, and then you also have the last one, which we haven't seen before, is the red and the green. On the underside, that red and green goes into a separate slot on the underside of the little module, which means it is separate from the headphones. So now that we have all of this taken apart, and at least for the Apple side of things, we know what each of the wires mean. So if you do have more than the four wires, the left and the right, positive and negative for both of them, and you have that extra wire, most likely that is gonna be for the microphone. So if you're talking on the phone, it picks it up. I don't have that on my other one, so I'm not gonna include that. Really don't care, I never use it anyway. So. It should be straightforward, hopefully it is. So let's do it. Now, as you guys can see, I have these side by side so you can see them. So if I put my little noggin into this, both sides have a solid green and both sides have a striped green and copper. So to start out with, I'm gonna connect those together. Now on the other side, on Apple's side, they have a solid red and a red stripe. And on the off-brand side, we have a blue and nothing. So I'm going to put the solid blue on the solid red and the copper one on the striped one on the apple side. Now by the end of this, I will have spliced these together. Of course, not soldering because that would be a terrible idea before testing. But I'm going to splice these together, hook this up to my only Apple product, which is Actually, I have two Apple products. Anyway, my iPad, the one that has the lightning port, and see if this actually works. All right, guys. So here I finally have everything together, just burnt everything off, twisted the wires together. Now they're just chilling here. None of them are touching. I just have each twisted one kind of leaning away from the other. And a good note is that extra wire that's in there, that fifth wire that's for 
your uh, microphone is if there's any way that you can pull that out or completely separate it from the rest, it creates a lot of interference with the other one. So try to get that one out of the way as much as you can. Anyway, I have each one of them lined up. There's no trickery here. You can see this is all I have. Headphones going straight into it. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be using my lav mic. This is the microphone that is currently recording audio. So, sorry if that's loud, but that is to prove to you guys that that is my microphone being used. So I've got some royalty-free music on here so I don't get copyright striked, and I'm gonna play it. You might be able to hear it already, but I'm gonna turn it up even more So, listen in, guys. And there you guys go. That is... That is everything put together, spliced, the whole steps that you need to take. The last thing you have to do is clean that up a little bit. Again, make sure none of the wires are touching when you put it back together. It might be a little bit difficult because it's very small wires. But proof of concept, you don't need to have a dongle. All you have to do is splice in the end of some broken headphones that you might have lying around and hey it works now you have a dongle free system if that's what you're looking for if you wanted to use a lightning cable or if you want to revert back to the auxiliary jack this is how you do it get rid of that dongle hey guys thanks for sticking around to the end of the video if you haven't already make sure you follow me on facebook Twitter, and Instagram so you can get some behind the scenes stuff that hasn't happened yet and unreleased content that no one else has seen. And if you haven't already, watch that video. And if you've watched that video, watch that video. And if you've watched both of those videos already, make sure you subscribe down here. Yeah, watch this stuff. It's awesome. And if you've watched that and that and subscribe, 